Welcome everybody to our webinar today on how to overcome the recruitment challenge. How do we find the right talent? So today's webinar we're going to discuss a little bit about the Magnet Export Business Portal. We're going to discuss a little bit about Campus Connect and how you can use it in your business. We're going to discuss some of the benefits of the Campus Connect to employers and basically how it works. So a lot of really interesting information. And also we're going to share with you how to create a Magnet account. So we're going to show you the steps that you need to take, exactly the steps you need to take to create your Magnet business account. So today we've got uh, two guests on the webinar, including myself. My name is Andrew Patricio. I'm the owner of BizLaunch, and I host and facilitate webinars and help business owners build their businesses. Next we have Devon. Devon is the project manager of the Magnet Export Business Portal. Devon works directly with costs, sectoral partners, and government agencies to help businesses better connect with the programs and services that can support their growth and future success. When businesses thrive, we all do. I agree with that. And providing businesses with necessary tools, resources, and information to grow and expand is central to that success. Devon works on projects and manages to build capacity of Canadian businesses. So that's really a thing. And really that helps strengthen the Canadian economy. Next we have Austin. Austin is the manager of research and partnerships at Magnet. Austin has worked with communities across Canada to craft economic and workforce, workforce development strategies. He regularly consults with officials at every level of the government and various industries on innovative approaches to recruitment. At Magnet, he's responsible for driving research initiatives with partnering organization using Magnet's labor market intelligence. He leads a series of initiatives designed to better connect employers with the right people at the right time. Austin is passionate about the question of talent, where to find it, how to develop it, and how to ensure employers know about it. So this is what he does. So they're experts in the field. So Devon, tell us a little bit about Magnet and how we can use it as business owners. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Andrew. And thank you, everyone, who's joined us today. Um, it's great to see so many participants, and, and hopefully you'll find value in what Magnet has to offer your business in terms of growing as well in terms of talent. So just a little bit about Magnet. Magnet's a non-for-profit digital social innovation based at Ryerson University in Toronto. And our mission is really to look at accelerating inclusive economic growth for everyone, whether that means uh, job seekers from different diversity designations, businesses, small and large, as well as communities, so regional hubs that are looking to grow, that are looking to support their businesses and their growth, and looking to really retain talent within their communities and see them grow and prosper. And so Magnet is really founded on these principles, and our activities, the platform, is all geared at trying to support all in economic growth um, across the country. And so I'm really excited to have my colleague Austin here with me today to really speak to the careers and talent side of the platform. And the project that I lead really comes out of Magnet's business capabilities. And so this is one of the newest functionalities about Magnet is really looking at supporting businesses directly with support um, outside and beyond talent. Um, and really the community is our third pillar. So you know, businesses and the individuals uh, that work for them or are looking to work for them really are the fabric of our communities. And so looking for ways to help our workforce developers, our chambers of commerce, our boards of trade, um, industry associations, and um, those types of organizations that are really working to support our communities to flourish are really um, our targets for partners. So if there are any community organizations that are on the webinar today or will watch the recording later, um, please check out our partnership page on magnet.today um, to look at the ways that Magnet can really add value to your community organization. So looking at the newest functionality um, and the project that I manage at Magnet is all about exporting and, and really looking at Canadian businesses and ensuring that they have the resources and tools and supports in their back pocket to really be able to look at broadening their scope and scale beyond Canadian borders. 
And so the business case is really there for why exporting and why we focused on export in terms of the first initiative out of our business category was really looking at um, supporting businesses understanding that export, you know, helps to increase your revenue, it expands your customer base, you know, the Canadian economy and the Canadian marketplace is relatively small. So it's great to be a master of the Canadian marketplace, but how do we take that expertise um, and your product or service delivery and take it internationally? And it's really about becoming more competitive. So Canadians um, and doing business in Canada is really top of mind and um, you know the Canadian brand is strong and it's trying to support businesses to realize that there is great potential in looking outside of Canada. But in developing this platform, it became really apparent that there are sincere challenges to businesses when it looks to go when they're looking to go internationally. There is an overwhelming array of export resources. So in our initial search we found over 300 different export programs and services just in Ontario alone for businesses that are looking to grow and scale. If you're a business with less than 10 employees, learning how to navigate those resources, understanding what's right for your business, it can become a daunting task in and of itself. And then there's the limited time in finding that right resource. Um, we had lots of businesses express frustration in finding a government subsidy program or finding a trade mission getting through the application process only to find in the fine print that they'd missed the deadline, that they were ineligible because of a certain criteria, um, or that they'd altogether missed out on that opportunity. And so, you know, that became um, a real frustration for businesses that we, that we worked with when we were piloting this project. And then the multiple providers. So how do you make sense of, you know, provincial programs, federal programs, organizations like Export Development Canada, the Business Development Bank of Canada, who are these organizations, what do they do, and what can they do for your business can be um, a big question to answer, especially when you have limited time, limited resources, and limited staff. And so all of these challenges were really the incentive for creating the Magnet Export Business Portal. So it was really about making it simpler for Canadian businesses to access the resources that are, are readily out there, but not so easy to navigate what's right for your business. So it was about finding ways to make it easier for businesses to get connected with those resources that, that really are out there and, and are out there to support you and making sure that you're tapping into them. So we work with four primary providers. We work with the Ontario government, we work with Export Development Canada, Global Affairs Canada at the federal level, and the Business Development Bank of Canada. And we're looking to expand and grow this um, opportunity uh, bank and the content providers that we're using for the business. But it's really about taking these top four providers and, and putting their um, resources, their services, their programs, their funding um, right in your inbox. And we do that through Magnet's um, very unique targeted communication platform. And so what that means is that by creating a one-time profile, you're setting yourself up to receive push notifications right to your email inbox. Because what we found very clearly from our research with businesses is they didn't want to have another thing that they had to check every day. They didn't want another LinkedIn or another Twitter that they had to try to maintain and check in with, otherwise they'd miss something. And so instead, we tied your account right to your email inbox. So anytime there's a new opportunity that we've put in the system that you're eligible for, you receive a notification right in the inbox that you're checking every day. And so it's a way for you to stay engaged and informed on the opportunities that are eligible for your business. So something that we recognized early on was that um, export resources, programs, funding is, is great, but that businesses are agile, they're changing, they're growing, and so their needs change and grow as well. So at one point in your business model, you may be looking to grow internationally, but as you're growing and scaling your business, the need for talent becomes an even greater challenge. You know, as your business gets the attention of investors, as your business is looking to go international, um, how do you have, make sure that you have the human resource capacity within your organization to really continue to meet that demand and meet that growth? And so Magnet was initially launched as a talent matching platform, and we're really excited to be able to talk and promote today our newest functionality on the talent side, which really puts um, top talent right at your fingertips through your Magnet platform. And I just want to make that, that really clear from the outset. I know Austin will speak more specifically to it, but um, this functionality is embedded right in the Magnet Export business portal. So this isn't a, a separate sign-on. This isn't another thing that we're asking you to sign up for. 
it's baked right into the Magnet Expert Business Portal because we recognize that your need today may be for resources and funding and programs, but your need tomorrow as a result of that demand will be talent. And so putting it right into a single sign-on makes it easier for you as a business to determine what services on our platform make sense for your business at this point in time. So I'm gonna turn it over to Austin to speak about the Campus Connect functionality. Um, and I'm really excited because he's gonna take you right into the system and show you how easy it is to, to use this functionality. So um, Austin, go ahead and, uh, and take it over. Okay, thanks so much, Devin. I'm uh, just gonna position a little here, perfect. All right, well, this is fantastic over lunchtime. Good to join you all, and if you're uh, taking this in on, the, on your own time, uh, hopefully the next uh, 15, 20 minutes or so will, will fly by and you'll, you'll learn something that can help you in your day-to-day -day business. So what you're seeing on the screen right now you know, about Campus Connect, uh, and really Campus Connect is a vision uh, to more seamlessly connect employers such as yourselves with students in post-secondary education across Canada and recent graduates across Canada. So to emphasize for those folks that may be joining us uh, outside of Canada, this tool is certainly accessible for you. Um, there's no fee to uh, create a magnet account, uh, no fee to create a, ma a magnet export account, and all of this functionality is free for you to use. Certainly if you're uh, in the US, Mexico, wherever, you can create an account and certainly um, our students are, are happy to work with international partners. So um, get on there and, and check it out. So what I'm going to do is uh, actually walk you through kind of the, the benefits of it, of, of what this uh, new tool is going to do for you. And then, as Devin mentioned, we'll, we'll jump right in so you can actually see how to use it. Um, and just before I jump to the benefits, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the challenges we've heard um, employers and, and why we've created this tool and the associated benefits. And really what we've been hearing is, you know, it, excuse me, it's one thing to, as a business, to create a posting and, you know, put it on like an Indeed or Copolis or, or many of the job boards that exist. But there was seemingly this barrier to actually get that job in front of current students or recent graduates at various post-secondary institutions across Canada. You know, we've got over 100 uh, college, colleges and universities across Canada. So for an employer to actually get the right eyeballs and your opportunities is a, is a real challenge, right? Um, these are often uh, kind of closed job boards, uh, you know, free to access, but a lot of administrative burden, right? Because you'd actually have to go in, create a, a, an employer account, every single one of these schools, and I don't know what you do, but that doesn't sound like fun. And so, you know, working with our, um, our corporate partners, we said, well, what if we could, with one posting, you know, through Magnet, disseminate this, this role to all the colleges and universities uh, that, that we're partnering with on this project. So we're actually covering about 85% of uh, job school boards or job boards at schools across Canada. So we think this is a really big breakthrough. We worked with this for the federal government, and they're really excited to see um, how this is taking off in the last six months since we launched it. So, um, you know, what you're going to be able to do with this tool once you get into it, you really, um, you know, with one posting, you're going to you're going to get on the magnet, you know, create the posting, and then when you're going to go to activate that uh, posting, you get to decide with a simple click of the button or the big pick list, you know, which which school um, specifically do you want this posting to go to, and you'll notice here this is a there's a term called you know integration with Orbis, and this is how this uh, connection is made possible. Uh, we've actually embedded Magnet um, with Orbis Communications, and Orbis is actually dealing, they've, they've specialized the last 15 years working with uh, these different institutions, uh, primarily managing their co-op departments, but increasingly managing what we're calling you know, work integrated learning. So there's a really big push across Canada uh, to get to make sure that students, before they graduate, are actually working, you know, part of their time working with employers, so when they graduate, they've got real world experience and they, they have a, a more seamless transition to, to the labor market. But what all this means, of course, is that uh, these schools are more motivated to ensure that their students are responding to these postings that are coming through Campus Connect. So uh, it's a it's a, it's a win-win for everyone involved. Uh, for you, you're gonna get better access to talent and the students, of course, they wanna see uh, these opportunities, not just from the handful of employers they, 
the school had traditionally worked for, worked with, but now uh, with employers coming in through Campus Connect across Canada. Uh, so how it works, and, and we'll get into this uh, really easily, you know, depending on the size of your organization, you've got different workflows uh, to kind of manage applicants. Um, our system's been designed to support basically three types of workflows in terms of managing applicants. You could be embedding uh, your, um, you know, what we call ATS link or um, your applicant tracking system link right into the uh, posting so applicants are taken directly to you when they want to apply. You could use Magnet to manage your, your postings, um, or you could manage it through email if you really want to go old school. So all of those opportunities are, are there for you. And as I said, really it's as easy as you create that posting once on Magnet, um, you, you add some filters to make sure you're going to get the right candidates responding, and bam, you activate it and you decide which schools uh, do you want to send it to. So what I'm going to do right now is actually jump over to, you'll see this is uh, our live website, magnet.today. And the neat thing about this, I, I just, I'll, I'll make a note, we're looking at, um, this is under kind of, if you were to Google magnet.today, uh, this is under our current initiatives, and then if you were to click on Campus Connect, this is where uh, all this information is stored. And so, um, if for whatever reason, you know, you wanted to show your, your friends, um, and without having to show them this, um, this webinar, you could direct them specifically to this site. And on this site, you know, you'll see about the platform. There's a pretty uh, snappy 90-second video about how it works, uh, the benefits that I was kind of describing, also the benefits to schools, kind of why they're participating, and then, of course, all the kind of supporting context you might need if you ever run into trouble, right? And we've got the one, two, three, how it actually works. So from here, um, what I'm going to do is actually go into this scenario. Okay, let's 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 imagine you don't have a employer account today. Um, you know, if you did already have an export account, as Devin mentioned, this functionality is already live within. So that's all good. Just using your existing credentials, you you sign in, right? So let's go to login, and this is going to take me to the Campus Connect uh, login screen. But also, if you're going through Campus, or if you're going through um, the Export Business Portal, that will work for you there too. So let's, uh, I'm going to log in using my uh, demo account here, but let's, let's go ahead. All right, and now I'm actually in the Magnet platform. And because this is a demo, there's some, there's some fun stuff here. Not all of this would look exactly like your account. But for our purposes, all we care about is job postings and the, the functionality around Campus Connect. So what you're going to do if you wanted to use this, you'd click on job postings, then you'd say, okay, I'm going to create a new posting. And you've got a couple options here. You're going to be looking at either student posting directly or advanced posting. Uh, just because I've got some more filters at my disposal, I'm going to use the advanced match. And what we're looking at right now is, you know, if, if any of you work directly in HR, if you create a job position yourself, this is all really familiar to you. And, you know, you're looking at, you know, uh, job title, job level, you know, job description, of course, all this fun stuff. And they thought, well, seeing is believing. So I know we have some folks from Accenture on the call. So I thought, well, let's go and actually take one of their jobs. And let's put it in a magnet. Of course, I won't activate it, right, because I, I Accenture would have to do that. But let's show you what that would actually look like, right? So I'm looking at Accenture, um, and they have a role right on Indeed. I'm sure this is also on their own website. Uh, it's uh, for a campus recruiter role. So what we're going to do in the next five minutes or so is actually take this role, put it in a magnet, and I'll show you just how easy it is, all right? So the first thing is we want to we want to say okay well this this is for Accenture now if that you're going to post through your account it would be defaulting to your own employer name so that's not a big deal um, I remember earlier I talked about um, an ATS link right so what that means if I wanted and we'll see what's actually here apply and company website so if we're to click that. So it's going to take me to the actual application page for Accenture. And that's great. So this is actually what we call the fancy word. This is what we call the ATS link. So if I'm in here 
and I wanted to manage this application. So what this means is the job posting goes over to a job board at, let's say, you know, University of Toronto. The student looks at it, and, okay, I'm interested in this, in this job with Accenture. If they wanted to apply, they'd actually be clicking on this link right here, which should be embedded in the magnet posting. And then they would be directed to Accenture's actual application page, okay? So I'm just gonna flip back here. So that's what we mean managed through ATS, and I'll leave that in. But as, as I said, you could also be managing this through Magnet, so all the applicants would appear in Magnet, or they would be applying directly through email. So you've got some options there. Now, what's the job title? In this case, it's pretty uh, straightforward. We've got Campus Recruiter. And this is going to be an entry-level role. Job function. So this is what you're actually thinking about. What is this person actually going to be doing day to day? This isn't about the organization. And so this, this person's going to be working. There's a couple options that may work for us, but this person's going to be working in kind of human resources, right? This is a recruiting role. So we've got recruitment and employment. That's what they're generally going to be doing day to day. And that's important because in our system, um, we've got the ability for job seekers to kind of give us a sense of their preferences what are the types of roles they're looking for. So this just helps in some of our advanced matching capabilities in the system. But you're doing yourself a favor as well because you know applicants are gonna be looking for that type of work. So you know you're connecting on the same page. All right, then all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back here. All I'm gonna do here, and this is the litmus test for this, is to show you how easy it is to just cut and paste all this information right into the job description. And we set this thing up so it actually does a really good job of keeping all your formatting of that, right? So you'll notice it's all staying in there. So I don't need to be spending any time, you know, rebolding or anything that sticks with me. Um, now, where is this role? This is one that happens to be in Toronto. So I just start typing in Toronto. There we go. Now, job type. Now, this is, we've got some options here. Now this is just a full-time role, right? This is a full-time permanent position. This could be contract, et cetera, but I know this is permanent. I'm gonna be paying this person, um, it's actually uh, hourly wage, and just for benefit, just for purposes of demo, I'm gonna say this is gonna start as soon as possible, and it's an open-ended role, and because there's no end of the term. But let's say this was a you know, co-op position you were looking to hire for, or you're working with a school in particular, Sometimes they have a fixed start and end date. So, you know, maybe it's a four-month term over the summer. It may be starting May 1st and end, uh, end of August. And those are the dates I would put in here. Um, I could say for this role, you know, this is, this is we start to introduce some of Magnet's, uh, say, matching technology. You know, for this role, this person at a minimum needs to speak English. But I could also say I'd like this person to speak French or Spanish, right? And you'll notice here I've got um, what we call preferred or required. And this is where we kind of have this discussion of like a deal breaker. So if this is uh, listed as preferred, that means it's like, you know, it's great that this person were to speak uh, French, Spanish, and English, right? That's all good. But if this role, um, let's say, was in you know, Montreal, um, and this person was expected to speak both English and French in their day-to-day, -day, then I could make this actually required. Um, and that w what that would do is basically tell applicants, you know, you, you really only should be applying um, if you have uh, French and Spanish, in this case, at your disposal. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it for English. All right. Now, number of positions, it's just one. Application deadline, you know, it's going to be two weeks. And then continue. So this stuff that I've showed you thus far, this is super basic. It's intuitive. You've all seen this type of thing before. But now we get to the fun part. This is where kind of the, the magic, magic of Magnet really comes through. So when I was checking out the Accenture role, I noticed, you know, there was an educational requirement. This person needed a, um, an undergraduate degree. Now, they really weren't selective about what program they were coming out of. Um, so I'm going um, to just assume a couple things here. I'm going to say I want this person to be a fourth year or graduate. And, you know, I really don't care when they graduate as long as they've got that. Uh, I also don't really care uh, which institution they're coming from, but I could put that. Um, and I, I could say, you know, I'm interested in 
you know, specific skills this person brings to the table. So I could be um, listing skills this candidate must have, or in this case, I'm just interested in what subject area they're coming from. So you know, let's see what comes back with um, you know, there's a there's a business human resources, and that's really the background I'm I'm interested in. But I, I could also just say, you know what, uh, anyone with an arts background, I think we could train them up to be in this role, so that's fine too. So that's kind of you know some of the filtering process. That's that's the first step there. So I'm going to click continue, and then you know what we're seeing here is you know there's folks in Magnet that have all those things I was looking for. You know if I were to activate and go to go to Magnet, you know, there's 13 people that would receive the application, but you know that's not really a huge number. So what if I wanted to go to all these uh, colleges and universities across Canada and get this job? on their respective job boards. And this is really this, this tab here, this section. This is what this uh, conversation is all about, Campus Connect. So um, with one click, I get to say, um, you know, college, universities, and here's the list, right? So there's um, 85 different uh, schools supported by this. And then within it, that's why it's a, it's a little bit complicated, but at every school, they can potentially have you know, five to ten um, different job boards that those schools themselves are determining, okay, well, I'm taking this position in. I think it's a good fit for this uh, program area. So that's the job board it's going to pop up on. So there is some curation also from the, uh, the colleges and universities where they, where they wanted uh, that job to show up and which students they think would be um, appropriate for applying to it. So again, keep this really open-ended. I don't want to single any schools out. But the full list here, right? I could say, oh, you know, I'm a, you know, one of my degrees is from Brock. I guess I'll make fun of them for a sec. Say, oh, those Brock people. I, I don't want any graduates from Brock. I could take them off the list, right? You know, I could I also work at Ryerson, so I'm okay. I'll say, oh, well, all these Ryerson folks, I don't like them either, so I could take them off the list. Um, or of course, you could keep everybody. And so, um, you know, that's as easy as it is. Um, so these are the school job boards that it would show up on. And once I'm happy with the selection, you know, I just, you know, wow, long, long, long list. Okay, save that. All good. I get a chance to check out um, the final details of this position, everything I'm looking for, education requirements. This is verbatim what is going to show up um, for the student uh, when, when uh, it gets over to the respective uh, school and their job board. So you want to do a quick double check to make sure these links are right, um, all the core details are right. And uh, voila, you click activate, which I won't do, but if I were to click activate, it will, um, we take a quick look at it uh, at Magnet just to make sure that you haven't missed anything critical before we actually send it over to the schools, which was a bit of a QA process. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Activate, and uh, hopefully within a couple of days, you get some applicants. Um, now, this is a normally a time when I'd say you have any questions, but not. We're going to hold off. I'm going to turn this back over to Devin. Uh, to take us just to close the loop on how this fits in with um, your existing connect, uh, account on Magnet if you've already got one. So I'm going to turn it over now. Amazing. Thank you, Austin. And, and I'm sure there are um, going to be some questions from our audience. So I won't take up too much more of our time, so we've got ample time for, for questions for Austin. And, and as you can see on the support tier, if you don't think of questions right this second, please take a moment to jot down that email. It's campusconnect at magnet.today for any questions, assistance, if you're unsure how it works. Um, and these uh, slides will be available to you along with the webinar recording um, after the fact. We'll send those out. Uh, through Andrew at BizLaunch, so you'll have access to, to all of this content uh, to follow up on. Um, but again, to Austin's point, and, and I love when we're able to go right into the system, it's a very intuitive system. Um, if you're already posting jobs on Indeed, if you're already posting jobs on Workopolis, this is just an additional complimentary service for you to be able to use to really be able to tap in to that uh, top tier talent that's coming out of our universities and colleges across Canada. Um, either currently or, or recent graduates. Um, I know myself, when I was a recent graduate, for four years after graduating, you still have access to all those job boards. So keep that in mind. It's not just current students. It's also all the alumni from, from those top institutions that consistently are tapped into those job boards um, and have an opportunity to see what you're posting. 
So down to, to more of that signing up process. So as Austin showed you, it, it's very simple. Um, we encourage businesses to sign up through the export platform. So again, even if you're not currently exporting today, it's not even in your future prospects for maybe the next year, it's really important to sign up there because it creates a pipeline for you to see those opportunities. So getting pinged on um, you know, funding programs, the Job Prosperity Fund will be coming out over the summer, um, understanding that there are funding programs and subsidies available to you, even if today isn't the right time to apply for them, a lot of times these are, these are reoccurring opportunities. And so if you get pinged with it in June, you say, you know, not this year, it's something that's in the back of your mind. It's archived on your platform. And so you can go into your profile and say, you know, I remember seeing something last June. What was it? And you can see that where that opportunity was and be able to be prepared for it next year. So just quickly going through that, that creating a profile process, and um, it's going to the export.magnet.today website. It's creating a new account. We're going to ask you questions about your business. And, and I really want to be clear that all of the data that we collect is completely private and confidential. So we don't share it with any of those top tier partners that I spoke about earlier. We don't share it with any of our universities and colleges that we work with. It's really just information that we're collecting on the front end so that on the back end when we're pushing through communications, we can make sure that you're targeted only with copy and opportunity that's eligible for your business. So we ask you things like the industry you're in and the market that you serve. It's really important that you select all of the industries you're in and all of the markets you serve. So often when we're working with service-based businesses, they're in a very specific industry. They're in marketing and communications. They're in engineering consulting. But they serve a myriad of markets. So if you can really serve any market that's interested in your service or that's interested in your product, please select as many uh, that you think are suitable to your business. And that just amplifies the opportunities that we can be sending to you. We ask you about the number of employees you have and your founding year. And this is really important for our funding program. Our funding programs often stipulate that a business has to be established for a minimum of three years. Or if it's a startup fund, it will say, you know, they can only be in business for a year. So it's really important that you're accurate about that founding year and number of employees. So that really will um, predicate what kind of funding programs and, and workshops that you're eligible for. And the second set of questions that we ask is really where it's export focused. And again, I can't stress enough, this platform is not just for businesses that are currently exporting. It actually, the motivation was really to support those businesses that aren't currently exporting to understand what the opportunities are out there. So, so don't be deterred by the, the name export in the title. It's really for businesses that are looking to, uh, to dip their toe into that international market and see what's out there. And so we'll ask you if you're currently exporting or not. Depending on your answer, you'll get another three to five questions that's really talking about kind of where your interest, what's your total sales revenue range. And again, that data is private. It's confidential. You don't have to worry about it being shared. But it's really for us to make sure that if you're in the bracket where you're making between you know, 300000 and 500000 that's going to be really different in terms of the opportunities you get versus a company that's making between $5 million and $10 million. So that's really the only reason we're asking that question. It's, it's really to make sure that you're getting targeted with communication that if you're an early business, it's going to help accelerate. And if you're a really established business, we're just going to be deepening your either your export potential in a certain market or deepening your understanding about how you can accelerate that growth even beyond the, um, the great you know, strides that you've taken. As to um, Austin's point, as soon as you hit submit, you're instantly tied in and tapped into that talent side of the platform. So on your left navigation, you're going to see job postings. So again, that's functionality that's baked right into your profile. So even if, as I said, that export functionality really isn't going um, to be a part of your business plan this year, you automatically tapped into the talent side and that access to the campus functionality is, is built right into that talent. And then it's really planning for success. It's watching for those time-sensitive notices. So as I mentioned before, this isn't a platform that we expect you to go in and check in on consistently. Even on the talent side, when you get a notification that there's an interested applicant, it, it's tied to that email address that's tied to that account. If you're a team, you know, a, a very large team, or if you're going to use this platform for your business development officer as well as your HR recruiter, you can add multiple emails to a single business account. So this makes it so that it really is a collaborative platform where all members of the team can be notified about interesting opportunities that are coming through the export side of the system or be notified when there's an applicant that's 
interested or, or eligible for that posting that you've posted in system. So it's, I can't stress enough, again, that email notification um, really is a game changer for our businesses because it's not another functionality that they need to go in and consistently check. We've recently launched a learning functionality within the system. So again, even if these trade missions and funding programs you know, aren't something that you're looking to action today, you can explore our learning tab and really understand you know, what does an export planning guide look like? You know, we have great quizzes that have been curated by Global Affairs Canada to really assess is my business ready to start exporting? Or what are the steps I need to take to get there? And so I really encourage you to look at the Learning Center content. And just the same as our um, targeted communications, the Learning Center is all curated. So when you go to your Learning Center, it's going to be all information that's relevant to your business. So if you're a business that's in the mining sector, when you go to your Learning Tab, you're not going to see content there that's meant for forestry. So it's really important to understand that the Learning Center and um, again, it's targeted, and that's how we ask those questions at the front end to make sure that everything that you're receiving, you're eligible for, and it matches to your business profile. We also want to help put you directly in touch with the services and supports that you need. And so on all of our targeted communications, you'll notice that there's emails provided or telephone numbers. Um, we understand that business is often done face-to-face -face or over the phone. And so if you are the person that would rather just pick up the phone, talk to a real person and ask questions about an opportunity, we want to make sure that we're putting you in touch with that person. So just to summarize the benefits that I know Austin went through them for Campus Connect, but really this platform is about setting your business up for long-term success. So again, it's not thinking about, you know, where is my business today? It's trying to think about where am I going to be a year from now? Where am I going to be five years from now? And really setting your business up for that, that long-term success. And so we do that through our targeted communication system. So again, this isn't a system that you need to go in and check every day. We do ask that you update your profile. So as your business hits that next big um, milestone in terms of your sales revenue, as you get, you know, you hire more talent and your business grows internally, we want you to go in and update that profile because that will make sure that you're still getting timely and relevant opportunities. But again, it's tied to that email inbox. So making sure that the business account is tied to the individuals that really this information is going to be meaningful to are, are tied to that account and we're here to support adding those, those individuals to your account. It's convenient, like I said, it, it's timely notifications. We have close ties with all of our content providers so that as soon as they're promoting something new on their own website, it's going in system. So you're getting that targeted communication right in your inbox about that opportunity, whether it's a funding program, whether it's a workshop that's going on, a networking opportunity, an international delegation that's coming to Canada that's looking to connect with Canadian businesses, we want to make sure that you know about it and that you're able to take advantage of it. And as Austin previously said, this is completely free for businesses. Um, we make sure that, uh, that the big guys, that our content providers are, are footing the bill for this so that our businesses can benefit from the resources, the opportunities, and the funding that's available to you. And so again, whether you're ready today to hire, to, to look at an export potential of your business, um, it just makes good business sense to sign up. It's free, um, and you're able to, again, track what those changes in the market are uh, moving forward for your long-term trajectory. So I'm going to take a breath there. We've given you lots of information. Um, we had our contact information, and I'll just leave the screen up so you can jot it down as well. Um, please email us at info at magnet.today or as I said, Campus Connect at magnet.today if you have a specific question about Campus Connect. Um, but any number of our team on Magnet is, is excited to help you and, and get you online. Um, so I'll, I'll turn it over to Andrew to see if there's any audience questions. Um, and thank you so much again for, for tuning in today. Thank you very much, Devin. It looks really interesting, and I encourage all of you to check it out. So we've got a few questions, so I'm just going to go through those questions quickly. And it's a question for Austin. Uh, the question here is that uh, Alana says she's based in Windsor, Ontario, and she's curious if the St. Clair College or University of Windsor may be added to the list in the future, or how do you choose which educational con institutions are on the list? So that's a question for you, Austin. Thanks for the question. It's a, it's a good one. So just in terms of uh, the, the list of schools that are um, on that, so I'm not sure um, if University of Windsor is there today. Really, the determining factor is their underlying platform that they're using 
uh, to manage their co-op programs or internal job boards. So if they are uh, supported by Campus Connect, uh, supported by Orbis Communications, then they would be on that list. And so, uh, as I mentioned, there's about 85% of colleges and universities already using Orbis, and those are all the schools that are there today. Um, for any, you know, anyone that's concerned that their college or university is not on that list, um, it, you know, certainly have to have that conversation of how to, how to make that happen. Um, but uh, that's, that's why they're there today or they're not. Hopefully that answers your question. Thank you very much. Yes, so it answers that. So there you go. So Alana, just check with the college and check with the with with Winds University and see if they can do that. So I've got a question here for Devon. Devon, so if somebody signed up for the Magnet Export Business Portal, they don't have to re-sign up now for this. They've got access to this information immediately. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. So we actually um, are really excited to announce for all of our current export users that we've turned on the functionality as of Monday, so it couldn't come quick enough. Um, so if you go onto your account today and you look and you click on your left navigation at the job posting, you'll see right away when you start to go through um, either the advanced job matching or the student matching, you'll see that that Campus Connect tab is often showed in, in step three of when you're posting a job will appear and you can select those um, those campuses, uh, colleges, and universities. So um, the functionality is fully live for all of our current export users and we encourage you to, to use that functionality and, and absolutely don't have to sign up for a new account. It's all baked in right to your profile. Okay, we got another question Yeah, There are, there are some incentives to employ uh, university students. You know, you can get some grants to do that. Are these available on the Magnet Business Portal, information about these programs available to employ university students? Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll uh, answer up front what I know is on system to date, and then I'll, I'll pass it over to Austin because he's had, done a lot of work with the uh, different ministries that provide those funding. Um, so the Job Prosperity Fund is one that I'll highlight. Um, it's uh, currently, for those that, that are aware, we're into fiscal year end, so March 31st is fiscal year end for the, both the provincial and federal government, and so we fully anticipate that the Job Prosperity Fund will be available again in April, May. That's when it was available last year, but again, it's subject to our federal and provincial funding program, um, but that's one that we push through system through the Export Business Portal because, again, even though it's not directly related to export, it's related to your business's ability to export. Um, and so the Job Prosperity Fund is a wage subsidy fund that allows you to offset the cost of hiring a, a student or recent grad in your business. So that's definitely one of the opportunities that's top of mind for me and um, that I know we pushed through the system last summer or last spring summer um, and that I fully anticipate will be available again this year. Um, but again, it, it's all pending our provincial and federal funders. So I'll pass it over to Austin because I know he has a little bit more detail about, uh, about some programs that are available as well. Now, the federal government's been, in the last year, really interested of how to promote support, what they call like a work integrated learning. So that's uh, either you're a current student uh, or there's some criteria about kind of recent graduates. And there's, like I know there's two programs at least um, that offer between five and $7,500 to offset uh, someone's wage for, for a given year. Um, there's 10 industry associations across Canada uh, covering, I would, I would suggest, uh, most of the economy. Um, you know, I think we've got some partners on the line, uh, one from the Canadian uh, Council for Aviation and Aerospace. Uh, they're supporting, they're basically administering one of these wage subsidy programs. So depending on which sector you're in, if you're in like, uh, you know, IT, um, ICTC or ITAC, uh, they're administering programs. So all I would do if, you know, for whatever reason, you're not seeing what you want through um, export uh, growth platform, um, you can just Google um, the, the, the grant is um, student work integrated learning, uh, and then the, the federal ministry is ESDC, and you can just Google it, and it should come up with uh, a series of programs. And if there are any specific questions you can't find it, um, certainly you could email us. We'd be happy to try to direct you. Devin's got another comment here. Yeah, and we'll absolutely provide that as an additional resource for this uh, when we send out to all registrants the webinar deck. 
and the webinar recording. We have additional resources that we provide, so I'll be sure to include uh, a direct link to the Work Integrated Learning funding. Um, it has gone through the system, um, but again, uh, we're always looking for, for ways to make sure that you're in touch with the right resources, so we'll make sure that that's highlighted as an additional resource. Thank you very much for those really interesting questions. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this afternoon. A couple of final words uh, from Austin and Devon. Let's start off with you, Devon. A couple of final words for everybody online. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'd just like to, again, thank everyone for participating today on our webinar. And, and for those who are watching the recording, I encourage you to go to export.magnet.today and learn about um, both Magnet as well as our new functionality on the export platform. Um, whether you're exporting today, looking to export tomorrow, or it's something part of your long-term plan, signing up is free to do. It's good business sense. It just starts the streamline of opportunities that are available and eligible for your business. And so I encourage you to sign up. And please reach out if you have questions, if you have concerns, if you're currently currently using the platform, and I know we have a few listeners on who are current users, please watch your inbox. We're sending out a feedback survey next week, um, and really, really important for you to provide us feedback, what's working, what's not, what do you want to see more of. We're currently in um, expansion planning for, for 2019, um, and we really want to understand from the businesses that are currently using the platform, what would be helpful? Would it be more funding programs that are available? Would it be content about um, more general business growth opportunities? Um, what kind of providers do you want to see on the system? Um, we want to hear from you, and, and that feedback is really invaluable. Um, I'll turn it over to Austin to provide any last remarks before we, before we sign off for the day. Yeah, I think all I would say is that if you're an employer out there and you're, you're struggling to find people, um, you know, you may have an existing recruitment channel that you've been going to for years and years and years, and that may be working for you. Uh, but all I can say is this is, a, this is a new opportunity. It's completely free. We think it's pretty user-friendly. We've been working hand-in-hand -hand with uh, employers to make this seamless for you. Uh, to date, we're getting really positive feedback. So we really have nothing to lose, um, even if you're posting the same job um, in one or two different places. Give this a try, right? Because if you're paying today to post on Indeed or something, I'm going to ask you a question, why? Uh, magnet's free, and it sounds like kind of what I've seen, you're going to get uh, better responses. So that's, that's where I'd leave it. Thank you very much, Austin, and thank you very much, Devin. And thank you very much, everybody, for joining us this afternoon. And remember that we will be uh, contacting you over the next week to send you a copy of the recording. You'll also send you a copy of the slides. But go to the Magnet website and sign up today. The information's on the screen. You go to export.magnet.today. Use this information and help grow your business. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us today.